One common issue that occurs as our code evolves is that our functions end up taking way too many parameters and that is what we will demonstrate in this tutorial along with a popular way to clean it up, so let's go. Even with the best of intentions, our code will become inevitably messy. For example, here we have the basic signature of a create button function that takes a title and an icon and even though both of the arguments are currently strings, it's pretty easy to see which one is the title and which one is the icon. However, as the button evolves, it starts to end up taking more and more configuration options. For example, it can start taking something like a button text and a disabled boolean. And now when we invoke this function, you can see that the arguments are unclear in their purpose. For example, which one is the title and which one is the text. Now something like named arguments would be great over here. However, JavaScript doesn't have that. However, what it does have is objects as parameters. So instead of taking multiple parameters, we can take a single config object as a parameter, which means that when we invoke this function, the argument needs to be an object with the values explicitly named. So now when we look at the function being called, there is no confusion about which one is the title and which one is the button text. Now one final trick that I want to mention over here is that defining the entire type for a config object inline can become a bit tiresome, but fortunately, you can always select anything that is a part of the type annotation and you can click this light bulb or on a Mac use the shortcut command dot to trigger a quick fix and then choose the option to extract this to a type alias. And this code is going to be much more maintainable in the long term when you have to do some powerful refactoring. And that's it for today's quick tip. Check out this lesson for object destructuring tips that might be helpful if you are using config objects as parameters. Thank you for joining me. Smash that like and subscribe for more content like this and I will see you in the next one.